Hey everyone, I'm Heather and welcome back to my channel. So we are here with test day. Um, this game has apparently no intro screen at this point. This is a demo for a game called The Mildew Children. Uh, it does say it's supposed to be out, I think, quarter one of 2024. Um, but I was just looking through a list of, I guess, new demos and saw this. And I like this creepy kind of uh, narrative story. So we're going to try it out. Uh, so I guess we need to get along with the dialogue. That's just what I needed. A crow cries out right by the everlasting oak. Oh, lords, bad things are coming. My rotten heart feels it. But what are you trying to tell? You're warning me for a reason. There's no doubt about it. It felt like a bad omen when the magpie flew in through the window at dawn. Should have read the incantation at the doorstep. Oh, I should have. Little Grave Careful, hey, what's on your mind this time? Offered your aid, and now you're just standing there as if interred. Are you going to lament about the mistress again? Oh, don't even mention her. Let's go, come on. Have a look at the sun. The dead shall be dined ere noon. Yeah, it would be unwise to anger the dead. Little Grave was already worried that we would have time to serve the meat that we wouldn't have time to serve the meals to her wards. She cares for their welfare more than her own. And what vexing spirit got a hold of me? Okay. Hi. Look at this. So what's on your mind? Tell me already. I won't reveal it to anyone. Although perchance I might, but you are well aware. My meek listeners are hardly eager to gossip. <laughs> okay, so I get a choice. Haven't you heard the crow? I wonder what it's trying to tell. I saw a bad omen. Uh, how about... The bad omen? You keep the evil away from us. You can do that, can't you? Oh, if only it were so easy to avoid the ill fate. Is there really nothing at all you can do? Nothing. When there has been a time when omens... When has there been a time when omens didn't come true? I don't know. There you go. Let's hurry up while the bread's still warm from the oven. Mmm, the smell of it makes me want to eat a crust. Too bad I can't. Okay, why is that? Have you eaten anything since yesterday? You must be serving them all you have. Let's go. Why is that? The living don't share meals with the dead. Let's go already. And when we're there, remember, well, you can't disturb the seeds that the abandoned bodies turn into. They must sprout, turn into fresh and fragrant grass. Have you eaten anything since yesterday? I can find myself some bread, but what about them? They will start reaching out of the ground with their hands. Horrible. But when the dead are fed, it's okay to sneeze a little. Let's go already. And when we're there, remember well, you can't disturb the seeds. Oh, we already did that. Okay. So are we dead? Are we spirits? I mean, she looks like the Grim Reaper, so that seems like something. By the way, have you heard about last night's dead man? My last sorrow of a husband. Uh, sorrow of a husband? That's right, we didn't get wed before sundown, for his grave wasn't ready yet, so we had to wait until the moon arrived. What if his soul was taken away by Fiendus Firebrand? She would have dragged him away, not to be seen ever again. What a nightmare. Tell me what it was about. 
A hunter was mauled yesterday. They say he went into the woods to cut down the enchanted linden, probably trying to make a spear out of it. Weren't four dead before him not enough, and nearly in the same place? It's so horrible, you should have seen it. When they found him, he'd been almost all chewed up. Uh, is that so? The poor boy had both legs torn off at the knees. Can you imagine? The arms chewed down to the bone and the belly. To put it plain, I almost threw up. And you know all too well how much I've seen with these very eyes. They even gnawed his heart straight through the ribs. The Lord of the Force himself did it. Well, that's what the trackers told me. And his face, mind you, was untouched as usual. Such a lovely face. At least they found him soon, not a moldy green cadaver. Mm. Are you still wandering around in the dry field? Uh, we'll ask that. Of course, every third moon I'm making sure no one rises from the grave. Imagine if the dead were to start wandering around the village. Horrific. Have you ever seen a dead man rise? They wouldn't dare, not in my presence. After all, I wield a scythe. That's why I'm here, Obs observling. Ha <laughs> ha. Is that supposed to say observling, or is that meant to be observing? You know how the dead are afraid of size, especially boys. That's the only way to get them back. And girls? Girls will come out, cry on your shoulder, and go back to sleep, on their left side. Will this happen to me after I'm dead? Will I be rising from the earth as forlorn undead? Vainly seeking comfort on the shoulder of my faithful friend? Why does it have to be the left side? I, by the way, ask them. They are silent, so I don't know. Maybe it's more comfortable that way? When I sleep on the ground, I always lie on my left side, too. It's really better that way. How do you know? You said it yourself. You haven't seen them rise. Okay, first of all, I didn't say I haven't seen it. But actually, yeah, I've never seen anything like that. Ha <laughs> ha. I've heard many, many true stories from the Elder Priestess. I wish I had her experience. What if I'm to falter, seeing a dead man? Or should probably say, undead man. Okay. Maybe she's not dead? Maybe we're just in a society that... No, I'm not going there. I wish I'd never seen the Accursed Hall. Okay. Can I go places? Yesterday I was snoozing on a grave and made up a riddle. You won't get us guess it in a hundred years. I guess the answer of this one's probably a dead man too. How? That was the best riddle I ever made up. The witchcraft of yours. You're also clairvoyant now? Oh, well. All right, all right. Tell me your riddle. What's the point now, when you already know the answer? Go ahead and tell it to me. Who knows? Maybe you, re you really did make up the riddle of all riddles. Oh, okay. Once upon the bull's feast day, gathered deer, wolf, corpse, and crow, Lady Autumn then said, Bring a worthy sacrifice to delight the spirits of the woods. Then the crow did say, Caw, what blood is there in me to please the spirits? Offer up the wolf. Wolf replies, Who dares to raise a fang against wolf, son of the woods? Offer up the corpse. The corpse remained silent, but with a bony finger pointed to the deer. Then the deer did speak, So be it, I shall be the one sacrificed. So whom did they offer as the sacrifice? So why the corpse? Crow says why he can't be sent to be eaten. Then Wolf does the same. We can't understand what the corpse says, since we are alive. The animals do understand the language of the dead. Everyone knows that. That's why the corpse points at deer to recite us their will. And the deer repeats word for word. So be it, I shall be the one sacrificed. That's it. I see. Okay.
Okay, I don't know exactly where we're going. The dry field, a symbol of the cycle and blessed change. By the will of the mistress has come an eternal reminder of our sisterhood's inevitable demise. I feel the evil gaze. Dozens of spirits, no doubt, are watching our every move. The living are certainly not welcome here. I wouldn't have set foot in this place without Little Grave. How does she get between the graves so easily barefoot? Don't you slip up on me here. Remember what I told you about the seeds? Uh, they must sprout into fragrant grass. That's right. Good girl. All right, let's see where we're going. This is a lot of walking. Looks like it made in time. Here they are resting. Oh, look, they've dug a fresh one. For who, I wonder? An empty grave. No, don't look into the, the open flush of the earth. The spirits are just waiting for me to slip up. One touch of theirs and my soul be twisted in an instant. Leans over one of the graves and begins to whisper. Perhaps I shouldn't eavesdrop. The sacred rituals are not meant for outsiders to observe. The little grave doesn't seem to care. Let's listen. Quiya, my precious, do you hear me? I'm sorry I left you alone for two days. Will you forgive me? I brought some bread, still warm from the stove. I see you haven't eaten anything since our last meeting. Are you sad? Don't cry. Soon it shall be time for you to return to us. It will be very, very soon. Oh, little grave, you're always so kind-hearted. What's that rumbling coming from the village? What is it? Oh, the timing couldn't be poorer. The procession is headed straight towards us. And who's the hero of the occasion? Or a heroine? My clouded eyes are trying to deceive me. Will they still bring me prophetic dreams? For that I am grateful. It'll be a long walk for the crowd, of course. Well, that's fine. Six suns will change while Little Grave is. Whoa, are they seeing Giliana off? Is it over already? It is. Turns out she turned 19 today. No, I mean your rounds. Are you done? So soon? Sure did. That's good. Thought I'd change seven hides while I waited. Oh, come on. Everyone is used to me here. Only Koya has been buried just three days ago. I can't even believe that Blessed Change is waiting for Giliana already. Blessed Change. Cursed Change. The most important day, the celebration of life itself. But not for our circle. Oh, the crowd will not be happy with my presence. As long as we are deprived of the change, we have no place here. Though, the hell doesn't matter. Let them think what they want. Let them whisper. I'll stay to watch the procession. The procession is coming. Voices from the crowd. Witch! If so it begins. Yes, a witch. And what of it? They've heard lies about us from the cursed mistress and repeat them again and again. Oh, I shouldn't have spoken about the great one like that. How happy I am for you, Giliana. Blessed change to you. Giliana, thank you, kind priestess. Don't be afraid. I'll guide you. It won't hurt, I promise. Don't be afraid, Gilly. We're here for you. Tis hard to believe our time together has ended so swiftly. Farewell. I thank the stars and the earth for the happiness we shared. Till we meet again, send my love to the children. Soon it shall be their lot to raise their own mother. Remember the troubles and sorrows of your past life. Clench them in your fists. On the other side, leave them by the roots of an old elm. Ahem, so Giliana, the eloquent, brought into this world on the fourth moon, nurtured by the cold soil. Are you ready to accept the bonds of Mother Earth, the ancestress of moss, mold, and human root? She's clearly scared. No wonder, a mere sight of the procession already 
makes my heart race, let alone if I were in her place. Encouragement from the crowd. Ready. The voice is trembling. Ready to drown in darkness and gasping for air follow the sun to freedom? Ready. Ready to wander through the bottomless well until a blissful rebirth? Ready. And finally, do you wish to once again become a link in the endless chain of life? Yes, I wish with all my heart. My clever girl, come, they're awaiting you. Take this vial of black milk. Do you recall its other name? Yes, the last tears of joy. Great. Drink it all, for the tears are sweet and pleasant. Don't be afraid of anything. Lord, she's trembling all over. Oh, you're such a brave girl. See, it's not scary in the slightest. Giliana, your time has come. Look into the bosom of the earth. Surrender thyself to her warm maternal embrace. She will cover you like a fuzzy blanket and preserve your peaceful slumber, while I will whisper lullabies until your next birth. We will eagerly await your return. So true! Come back soon! Have a safe journey! Breathe, Giliana. Breathe in the tart flavor of dead grass. Listen to its joyful whisper. Look at the sun. At dusk it will be your guide to the other side. Giliana, you're such a good girl. Don't worry, I won't leave you. Honestly, I won't. Makes a cut with the sight. Ahem. Living soul cries out. She's alive, she's alive. To the woods she goes, she's alive. But it hurts. Merrily earth trembles. She's alive, she's alive. Bones we bring for her. Into the laughter she bursts. Hurrah! Hurrah! Have a good journey, Giliana. Go safely. We'll keep silent. Even the grass is rustling, ha rustling happily, seeing off the departed soul. Yes, Giliana's journey will continue soon, but will mine? Oh, there's no need for idle worries to cloud the sweet departure. It's time to return to the village, even though the joyous hum has repelled the spirits. It is still uncomfortable here, amidst the dry grass. Okay, they return to the village. Alright. Can I go in the hall now? No, I'm not going there. Okay, I'm not doing that. Poseal? Well, I don't know how else to call you, witch. What does that toe rack want? Oh, what do you want, no man's daughter? I want to know what life has in store for me. Is there a room for happiness on the path that's chosen for me? Don't tell you want me to fortune tell for nothing. No, go ask the worms for divination. They're sure, they'll tell you for sure and how you pay. Shows a bear fang. Here, is this a fair price? I can't believe it. How could she have got one of those? She must have stolen it. Does she really not know the value of bear fangs? Well, all right, I'll tell you. Draws water. Spit. Uh, what? Spit in the water. You want to know your own destiny, right? Don't you? Then something from you needs to get in the water. I can cut off a lock of your hair or spill some of your blood if you prefer it. 
Who would have thought I would command the laws of existence for the sake of a homeless tramp? She still dares to hope for happiness. So naive. So the incantation. Hmm. Why don't we try the one Lear came up with, with the other day? I have no doubt her mastery with words. This for the incantation. O Mother Earth, reveal the fate of another. Okay. I'm not reading it because it's got like a rhythm sort of thing. Okay. It was O Mother Earth, reveal the fate of another. O Lord of Water, whisper your will to your daughter. I see the ligature smooth, whispering owls, the distortion of faces, the silence of clouds. The reflection of mine shows the faces of gods. All of you kneel. I'll be breaking the bonds. Take a handful of witch dust and throw it on the surface of the water. Lords, the eyes are truly deceiving me today. A scattering? Wide, but with a couple large lumps. And the shape here is uneven. Marvelous. Interpret literally. I see great fortune awaits you, wealth and respect too, and you should not succ and should you not succumb to greed, your wishes shall be fulfilled, and you'll be happy till the last day. You're lying, a beautiful tale f for a poor girl seeking comfort and peace, but I value truth more than fantasy, stirring the foolish mind. Uh, psh, believe it or not, your fate is now sealed. You're looking for a different fate? Well, I don't have one. That's All that's been said is true, except it with a pure heart. Are you suggesting to believe this nonsense? You've mistaken me. The prediction is revealed. There is nothing to change. To convince the blind that stars shine above them is like pounding water in mortar. You wouldn't believe... You would have believed my words had there been more ill in them, wouldn't you? Yes, life is not without misfortunes, and the day of a and the life of a pariah is filled with them, day after day, as I suppose is yours. Would you have believed it, witch, had you heard something like that? She's right. I would have doubted and performed the right again. Swear by the skies that you spoke the truth. Sure. I see you don't fear the wrath of the lords. Well, have it your way. Priestess, I have a question for you as well. What do you want? I want to know what awaits an outcast after death. Hmm. Oh, I see. So, why are you so hesitant? Speak your mind, especially since she's such a truth lover. Come on, is it that bad? Well, outcasts have no ancestors, no name, no calling. They don't even have a soul. You don't. No soul. Of course there is none. That's why you'll never see a new birth. So that's how it is. I've been mocked by a cursed fate. But outcasts live in one body longer than others. They live through the sundown just like we do. A mercy granted by the mistress to the doomed. Under her breath, he wasn't lying after all. Damn it. And I'll suffer the same fate, irrevocable death. So for the mistress, there's no difference between a witch and an outcast? How low have we fallen, eh? I can't get my head around the fact that she, an outcast, got such a bright future. They usually starve to death. Have you ever predicted such a thing before? Not often. I remember predicting something akin to that for a hunter. He was mauled by a boar a week later. Ugh, why remind me? It still makes me sick to my stomach. Ugh. At least this very happiness awaits him in the new life. Uh, look what the homeless girl paid me for fortune telling. No way, a bear one? I wonder where she got it from. Stole it, that's for sure. And you're no better. Trick the silly girl and are pleased with yourself. Just kidding. <laughs> Serves her right. Well, where else could she have gotten that kind of valuable? Outcasts have always been thieves. Okay. Well, I guess uh, this is 
an interesting story. I would have liked a little bit more, like, intro to it. And maybe they'll add that into the game. Like, it didn't even have a title screen. But I guess that's where we're going to go ahead and end this uh, for today. Uh, it's kind of, it, it's interesting. I'd like to maybe try the demo a little bit longer, see where it goes. It seems like it's supposed to be a mystery, so I'd actually like to get into that. I don't know if I'll do it here, though. Uh, so, I mean, I guess if you want more of this demo, let me know. Um, but yeah, I guess that's going to be everything for this time, and I will see you guys next time. Bye!